YouTube, welcome back. Another sunshiny day in Gyeongju. Uh, we're going to test out the license again today. Today we're going to rent out one of the little scooters that you can ride around Gyeongju, Bomun Lake. Uh, you might have seen them in the little videos I've done before. Let me go to show it off a little bit. Renting one of these vehicles. Uh, but we're not renting the big boys. Come over here. We're renting this guy, the Speed Demon. I've always been excited to rent one of these. They look so cool. I've always seen like people ride them around. Um, I thought that you needed your license to be able to rent one of these, but uh, the lady I rented with uh, <laughs> didn't seem to care at all, to be honest. Actually, I just, she wasn't even at the store. I had to call her and be like, hey, I'm here. I got one to rent a bike. Is she just, uh, as for ID, I don't know if she specifically needed a driver license. I gave her my license. Uh, but for those of you who want to rent one of these, I am like 90% confident you need a license, a Korean license to be able to rent one of these. You might be able to get away with not a Korean license, maybe just your uh, ID or ARC, maybe. Uh, but as the lady didn't really bother to check or say specifically which ID I needed, uh, I can't really confirm or deny that. Anyways. We actually have the action camera working today, so we're gonna take some uh, sweet shots. We're gonna drive around Bowman Lake, and then we're gonna go visit the K-pop museum later on. That should be super cool. There's a K-pop museum in Gyeongju, apparently. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. It looks like a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, let's test it out. All right, YouTube. We are off. Let's go, Speed Demons. Oh boy, this thing goes fast. Oh. Whoa. You guys can't see it, but we're going like 35 miles, 35 kilometers an hour. Oh. <laughs> I should be on the street, not on the sidewalk for this. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Woo! All right, we're on the we're in the streets, boys. Bravo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Oh my God! I'm not even going that fast. <laughs> this is wild. This is a lot faster than I expected it to be. This cafe has, well, we're not in the cafe, but we're, because we're not going to this cafe today, but uh, this cafe has an amazing view of Bowman Lake. And you can only really get here by driving, walking, biking, or taking the motorcycle. It's uh, oh, the helmet's a little skew. It's not easy to access. It's a very out of place cafe, but I highly recommend it if you, um, if you all got the chance. I'm trying to find the name of it because it's not, it's like one of those hipster cafes, like super not uh, for like kids and stuff. Oh, there's water over there. For like, um, I know, I, like kids can, I actually, I think this is like a kids free cafe. Um, but let me find out the name for you guys. Okay, the restaurant, or the, not the restaurant, the cafe's uh, name is Low, two L's, L-L-O-W. Uh, so yeah, if you guys look up Cafe Low, this place to be. Right, let's keep going on a ride. Well, YouTube, we end our bike ride here. Uh, God, my hair's a mess. That was way more fun than I thought it would be. Like a thousand percent easily uh so much more fun than i thought it would i, I rented over here from um world world tour Warudu tour uh i actually talked to the other owner or maybe worker i don't know 
I guess uh, foreigners who just have their ARC card are allowed to uh, allowed to rent the scooter or whatever. Dude, I completely thought that you needed a driver license to drive these. Maybe the ones in the Pony Dungi are a little more strict. I don't know. Um, but honestly, I think it might be better if you rent these out as someone who does have a license. And um, I think all those those of you who are under 19 are, can't, can't rent one anyways. However, uh, like I said, I think having a license or at least renting those out with someone that knows how to drive or has a license a bit better. Now, again, you don't have to go on the street like I did. I felt it safer. I thought it was way more fun. I enjoyed it, but you, you can easily just go on the sidewalk and uh, do it that way, but it does go pretty fast on the sidewalk as well. So if you're not someone who's comfortable in uh, renting those bikes for yourself, you feel like you're not good with, with those kind of vehicles, uh, maybe rent it with someone else because they are two seater. I've never ridden those kind of vehicles with two people. I think riding a motorcycle or any two wheeled vehicle with two people is not exactly safe, but it is very fun. It was very, very, very fun. It was 25,000 for one hour and you could do two hours. You could do three hours even. So I think renting that out, I don't know what the price was for two or three hours, but I think renting one of those out for three hours is a really good idea because it does go a really good speed. You are allowed to go on the street with it. And you can pretty much go to Hwanidangir, Moon, anywhere around Gyeongju, just with that little vehicle, which may or may not be cheaper than renting a car. On top of that, you might not even need the license to get one. So if you don't have a Korean driver's license or you don't have the international permit, dude, that's probably the best option to go around Gyeongju. Just rent one of them for three hours and then uh you know have a have a field day in gyeongju i highly highly recommend it maybe not from these people i, I don't know the, i thought the service was a little lackluster um but there's plenty of places around gyeongju to rent from anyways that being said i can't rave enough about it so much fun let's go finally to the k-pop museum very curious about it looks super cool and uh you know have a good time all right youtube you might recognize this parking lot from earlier we're at our next destination. K-pop museum. Look, look, there's a big guitar for the door. Oh, this is the wrong hand. Eh, eh, there we go. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. It doesn't look very big, um, but the door itself is very impressive. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know if the door is for the K-pop museum or this cafe here, but Either way, I'm very excited. All right, YouTube, we're inside. I like this uh, pillar of different instruments. So the cafe is part of the experience, but we can do that last. So they recommend that it starts with the second floor to the third floor and then back down to P1 as well. So let's go on up and see what we find. Oh, musical stairs. I can't really hear it though, because it's very soft. Okay, well this is actually a opera museum. I thought it would just be K-pop stuff, but we actually got some actual records of just music in general. Cool. The only old group I recognize, Kim Sisters. If you ask me to name any other old Korean artist, that's... That escapes my brain, but I do know the Kim sisters. Very popular. It's interesting what the records themselves look like too. Man, pop really has changed over the years. Let me know if you recognize any of these older K-pop artists. Dude, for me, it is wild to know that there's some rock music because all you hear about is K-pop in, in Korea. So the fact that we, that there are some rock artists or were, were some rock artists, the like King Rock and Roll, like Busan, yo, 
Where are these guys at? I need to listen to these guys. I mean, look at look at that album. That straight up looks like something that you should see out of America. Or something like this. What is this? Yo. This is wild. This is so cool. Dude, I remember when Gangnam Style first came out. That was wild. I think that me and my friends watched that video like, no joke, 10 times in like in a row. Ah, uh, Sonia Shide. One of the originals. Wonder Girls. This is actually super cool because even though I don't know uh, all the current artists, I actually do recognize a lot, a lot of these artists. HOT. Oh my god. I feel like I'm an old man. Dude, coming through this museum was a mistake. Coming through this museum was a really bad idea. Oh my god, is this all BTS? Wow. Yo, other artists are losers compared to BTS. They have a whole section just for them. <laughs> wow, they have all the... Dude, this is impressive. This is impressive. <laughs> Here we got the music videos going on. This is super cool. I think if you are a definite K-pop fan, this is probably the museum to come visit. There's probably, I think there's one in Seoul as well. Um, but I can't really think of where it would be. But there's definitely one in Gyeongju. All right, we're on the uh, third floor now, which is more classical stuff. Let's see, there's some very interesting things. Oh, maybe this section is just for like the instruments themselves as opposed to the K-pop history. All right, after doing our music sesh, we come down here to the uh, something for kids. <laughs> I don't know what this section is. Yeah, I guess this is all like maybe kids music or stuff for kids. It's very interesting. This is the, the basement, so after you do everything in the second and third floor, you can kind of come down here. But not, it's not a very big section. However, there is this Norebang here. Can we actually... Can we actually Norebang? Hold on. I thought it would have been free Norebang, but... No, you do have to put in 500 won. But 500 won for like... This whole area, this space, that's actually really kind of cool. Like, you know, there's coin, coin norebang in Korea and you get this tiny little super tiny room, but I wanted one to just like sit here and sing. That's kind of dope. I don't know how many coins though, so unfortunately I don't get to sing and y'all don't get to hear me sing, so maybe that's a good thing. All right, our last stop for today, the cafe, which is super cool because you have this stage to like just enjoy cafe or coffee and listen to music super cool all right youtube sitting down with some uh, some fresh coffee in this nice cool little k-pop uh cafe but let me show you the cafe the coffee i got it's super cool it's a guitar it's a guitar coffee that's so cool i love it and it comes on this cool little vinyl record coaster called the coaster that's so cool. Uh, so this is a cold brew uh, latte, I guess. And then we just simply pour this kind of tukun, a little hot, little warm milk. Not hot, but warm. Chun -chun oh, I'm strumming the guitar. Alright. And then we give that a little mix. Wow, 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 wow. I wish this place made guitar music. If I was really cool, I'd put some guitar sounds here. Let's give it a taste. Tastes pretty good. I think they, they added some um, condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk on the bottom. It's got a little bit of sugar added to that, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. 
and uh yeah i think we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the coffee and uh that'll be it youtube i hope you guys enjoyed k-pop museum super cool i think my favorite part though was sitting in the room where you could listen to a bunch of music and like request songs and things and the lady could play any any artist so I, uh as long as they had the cd or they had the computer as well so you could rest request any music it didn't have to be korean music uh i did want to listen to some rock music uh, I did request one old uh, rock artist called Lee Do Hyun. Uh, I wanted to listen to others, but I also wanted to let obviously other people play music. So um, I got to listen to at least one. But the sound quality on the stereos up there was phenomenal. It was so cool to just sit there and have like really good sound quality for a song that you really like. And that, that, that was a really good experience. So if you really want to just like take the time to come over here and just you know, enjoy the cafe, uh, enjoy the, some coffee, go upstairs, listen to a couple of songs that other people listen to, maybe put in a request for a few songs yourself and uh, kind of chill out. It's it's really nice. It's really, really good. There is a way to reserve a song in advance through Naver on uh, on their on their webpage. So not their webpage, but like if you search this K-pop museum on Naver, on whether it's Naver Maps or Naver.com, doesn't matter. Uh, there's a little button that you can click to reserve uh, music of your choice to enter the museum it's 12,000 but if you're a Gyeongjun citizen like I am it is 9,000 uh, 40 percent off there's a 50 percent off as well but I'm not sure what that discount is for it might be something else I'm not entirely sure but they have different discounts as well so I would definitely check that out uh, if you come here just kind of ask them and uh, yeah that's been a good day from motorcycling down the road to fast-paced action to chill ass chillax k-pop museum i think today was a pretty cool day it was really cool i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and uh like and subscribe for more and uh thank you so much youtube see you next time Bye.